Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to present you an easy to use application for presentations. It's called Ease. You can find Ease by going to the PPA of Ease or going straight to omgubuntu.co.uk and there you can find the article about Ease and it can just add the personal package archive by copying this link or this text, opening up a terminal, pasting it in, hitting enter and enter your password and then it will be imported. Then you can go to preferences, synaptic package manager, you can hit on reload to reload the package list and after this you can search for ease ease is a clutter and invala based application so you need 3d and 3d graphics driver uh, which allows you to use opengl so for nvidia users and ati users this normally means you need to install the proprietary dri drivers click on apply hit apply again and a few seconds later ease will be all installed So after the installation you can close down Synaptic Package Manager and you can find Ease under the menu Office Ease Presentation Editor. And this is the basic starting theme of Ease which allows you to select first of all one of the themes that you want to use for your presentation. So I will select this blue one here, this looks pretty cool. I can also select a resolution for my presentation. I will stick to 20, uh, 1024 by 768. C uh, click on new presentation here. It will open up the new presentation editor. Uh, as you can see, we have on the left all my slides. On the right, all the options for the site, for elements of the site and transitions. And of course in the middle you can see the slide editor where we can edit basic text files, for example basic text elements uh, on this slide, like this one here. Let's change it to title and this one here to subtitle. And we can create new slides by clicking on the plus symbol here, which will automatically context sensitive choose the right slide. So after a title slide you will get a normal slide where you can put your title up here and some of your points down here. So let's write some text in here. As you can see you uh, got this draw boxes around this text box so this allows you to easily just resize this object and then enter some text in here by simply double clicking in and then adding some text you have also the option to change the formatting by going to the um, properties of an element Here you can see I'm using the bitstream Vera Sans uh, 28 points big in size. So I will use the Ubuntu font here, bold and also 24 by size or oh, even a little bit bigger here, 28. This looks pretty cool doesn't it? But you not only have the option to change the font things here on the font, font color and the arrangement but you can also add some other stuff by going to insert there you have the option to insert an image, video, PDF document or media from the web, which is really cool. If you click on here, you can try searching Flickr or open ClipArt and add some images from them. And I will insert an image here. Search my logos here. I have a tux image. So tux the penguin. I can resize this image by grabbing to one of these uh, little uh, rounded um, guys here <laughs> and you can see I can drag it wherever I want it to have and this looks I think pretty cool. 
and of course I also can change the transition from one slide to another by going to the transition tab here and uh, let me choose fade in so it will smoothly fade in from one slide to another one I can also change it to um, revolving door for example this will look like this here basically from left I can change the direction direction if I want to and start it manually or start it uh, automatically and I can set also the duration of this transition so let me show you how it will look like by clicking on the play button here it will open up the slide and by hitting the arrow key left I can go to the next slide and you can see the nice fading transition and uh, the nice door transition with with a fade and what's also really interesting if you want to present or focus the viewers of your slide on one point of your slide you can go with the mouse here on here and then click and hold the left mouse button and you can see a light spotlight will appear that will then automatically focus the users or the, the audience on your points on your slides this is really cool and yeah, hitting escape will go out of this here and I also have the option of course to save this by clicking the save button here it will save it as an uh, ease presentation file and of course you also have if you want to create easy simple uh, presentations and uh, want to show share or show them to others you have the option to export the presentation as PDF or HTML and of course you have the normal editing features like uh, copy paste delete or cut raise lower uh, elements above another one or underneath another one you can create rectangles and ovals if you want to so let me create an oval so this uh, let me delete this one here and add this one to my point here so insert oval and then I can simply drag and drop it and make it to a little point here ah. so you can see <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to work on this especially because it's still in an early stage of development but it works pretty damn good for creating easy presentations and export them to an HTML file. So this is basically the presentation tool called Ease. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching.